What's up, everyone? We're back with another Ducks recap. A little, little happier this time. Let's go. Uh, versus the Sharks, game number 13. So we're going to hop right into the pregame notes. Take it away, Sean. Hey, it's Rico's birthday. Happy uh, 31st birthday, birthday to, to Uncle Rico. Happy birthday to you. Um, you know, I've really loved him being on the Ducks ever since the uh, the Botman trade. So glad he's on the team. Uh, gets lost, still going to be out with an injury. Um, so it's going to be the same, same lineup as his last game, uh, which is one difference. Uh, Miller's going to be in the net since it's the second of a back-to-back. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the first. It starts out great for the Sharks. Yeah. Uh, 11 seconds in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sharks going to win the yeah. opening draw. Kane's going to get a wraparound, which is going to create a rebound back to Ferraro. And he uh, takes a shot and it kind of like squirts through Miller. And then Cortura is going to get right there and tap it in. Um, yeah, it was not looking good, folks. I will say that. I was like, oh, no, not again. Yeah. Another slow start from the Ducks. But actually, after that, it was kind of all Ducks that period. Mm-hmm. Ducks got a power play. And actually, it kind of looks like they might have their best power play of the season besides not scoring. Somehow, I don't know how yeah. they don't. Dubnik was solid, but after that, Kana still ducks, and then Raquel actually hits a gets a hit on Simic, and then Sharks don't like that. So a little girl roughing going on. That's so I was gonna get a little chippy. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was pretty ridiculous that Comtois is gonna get the two minutes here. It's like two Sharks player go to pick on Raquel, and then Comtois goes there to, you know, step in and maybe even it up, and then Comtois is gonna get a penalty. I mean, he didn't even throw a punch. Come on. Yeah, it was a little soft, that's for sure. Uh, but still, at the end of this period, the Ducks had the better chances. Like I said before, I don't know how they scored, but, you know, oh, well, you know, the Ducks uh, are down 1-0, shots 12-10 I mean, to 10 in favor of the Ducks, so it's actually closer in shots than you think, the way yeah, the two, Ducks dominated this period. I mean, two common themes we've seen this season, bad starts and Ducks not putting away chances. So yep. this f- first period, I think, pretty much summed up the Ducks' season so far. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the second. The Ducks are going to get on the board. Six minutes in, Lunderstrom with what a deflection hey. after a shot by Lindholm. <laughs> it's going to be Lunderstrom's first uh, first goal of the season. Oh. Um, I mean, he looked like uh, Kenny Wu out there from the Mighty Ducks, a little spin around. Kenny Wu, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, pretty lucky. Hits off the shaft and goes yeah, in. But hey, bit. he'll remember that forever. It gets, it's the first goal, and hey, Shattenkirk is also going to pick up a point with the assist too. That was great. And then after that, uh, Rico and Simic, again, who was in there getting hit earlier, actually get roughing. They're a little, maybe a little carryover from last period. But after that, kind of calms down. It was like, really wasn't much of a chippy game after yeah. that. Uh, and then actually the Ducks get some power play chances and don't score, but at least the power play like semi-decent now. They are trying to shoot more, it looks like, at least so far in this game to me. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um... Sharks are actually going to come out on top in the, the shots. It's going to be 22-21 in favor of the Sharks. And, yeah, tie hockey game going into the third. Um, starts out back and forth hockey. Um, a lot of neutral zone play. The Ducks were kind of like sitting back for a lot of this. Um, really going for that dump and chase. You know how they like that dump and chase and then hoping that the four check can do something. And uh, didn't really do too much. Uh, kind of boring. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You know, the Ducks actually come back in the shot total 32-27 and 20 to 27 in favor of them. It's still one to one. Ducks should have probably won this game of regulation, but they don't because they can't score. Mm-hmm. But we go to OT, and actually, the Ducks had a lot of chances at OT. This might have been like the best OT I've ever seen in like oh. Ducks history in the recent years when they, since they won that three on three format because yeah, like definitely. we actually took shots. <laughs> yeah, you mean they just weren't sitting behind their net for the whole entire? Uh, it was actually OT? enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, this is. I can see why people like three on three hockey. We just haven't been able mm-hmm. to see that for the. For the Ducks. Um, and yeah, Raquel had probably the two best chances of the periods, and he just muffed two wide open nets. Yeah. Uh, one, a great pass by Terry. And then. What a pass, my word. Yeah, it was a great pass. pass. It would have been a breakaway. I mean, the puck does kind of jump up on him on that one. But I mean, lucky, still, I guess, but yeah. still, he should. I mean, Dubnik would have been beat. And then the other one, I don't know how he missed that one. Just. He whiffed that thing, I guess. Completely whiffed. Yeah. It was brutal, but yeah, it looked good. But of course, the Ducks don't score. Saying that a lot, this this uh, this one, mm-hmm. that's not, it's nothing new. But then we go to the shootout, and Terry takes away with a great move to open it up. Oh, so great yeah. to see Terry. He's been looking way better the last couple games. Yeah. And then uh, after then that, uh, Donato scores. What a move by Donato, man! That thing was yeah. filthy. 
Whew. Yeah, you could say that it looked so filthy because it may might have been borderline <laughs> illegal. I mean, it's pretty close to backwards. Uh, Miller's going to argue that. Um, I think it was good. I mean, borderline, I'm going to give it to the attacking player. Um, but yeah, filthy move, like so many stick handles. And I mean, yeah, Miller gets beat pretty easily. But then Comtois is just going to be like, you know, I don't need those moves. You got a tall goalie in that. He just rips it five hole. Um, you know, great to see Comtois. He just seems like a goal scorer. He's like... He just sees that Dad. that five hole being open and um, yeah, flow. great. To, he he's getting yeah with the flow. Great to see <laughs> him get going. Um, then it's gonna be Logan Couture coming back for the Sharks, and Miller's gonna get a nice stop on him. And then um, Shattenkirk's gonna come to be the the third uh, penalty shot taker. What do you think about that, Kim? Yeah, he's a D man. So but actually, they said on the broadcast he's fourteen for thirty nine on his shootout shots. So I guess that's good. But still a defenseman. You think, you know, they'd want Raquel maybe to try, even though he's a little had a little rough spot, maybe give him some confidence and come back and try to score. Yeah, maybe it's my thought process. <laughs> or Silverberg. Yeah, this is uh, it's interesting, Same definitely. Thing. Yeah, and uh he ends up missing it. I mean decent decent move, pretty good save by Dubnik. And then yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so two one coming down to LeBlanc, coming in on Miller, and Miller's gonna get a get a big save. And you know what that means? It's Miller time, baby. Ducks win. Mm. love me some miller time oh yeah <laughs> but, um, yeah, but yeah i mean the ducks win <laughs> yay <laughs> two one uh closing thoughts sean you have any oh man raquel needs to get going baby uh those two chances he had probably his best chances of the whole season i think he, i think you could have said he was a snake bit before but now it just looks like boy is struggling um been struggling for a while last couple yeah. seasons literally but this season's it looks pretty bad yeah. another thing is we gave the sharks points and in a shortened season to give them points mm -hmm. these games could come back to bite us we're in the battle with the sharks right now they have games on hand so we gave them three points that's not very good you know yeah battling for good. that fourth spot i mean yeah you can't can't be giving away uh points and yeah just got to finish those chances i feel like we've been saying that a lot um, and then, yeah, I guess last thing, Shattenkirk, I think, had his best game as a duck this uh Yeah, yeah got an assist. Season. Um, got he an had assist. assist before and everything, but. Uh, and he actually made some pretty good offensive plays, and he kind of upped the physicality in this game, too. Um, so I liked was, it. I liked it. Keep going, nice Shattenkirk. Yeah. Maybe he's turn Maybe it on I a little bit. I won't call you Shattenkirk anymore if you keep this up. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, going on to the next one. It's going to be back in uh, back at Vegas on Tuesday, February 9th. Um, Ducks are still have not won a game in Vegas. They actually uh, just got their first point last time, which that should have been a win. You remember they blew that yeah. they blew that lead. With like a minute and a half left, and yeah, they blew yeah. it. So here's hoping it's better. It's usually not very fun against Vegas. They are a good team. So mm -hmm. Gibson will probably be back in net. So let's help the Ducks keep up. They've been looking better. Let's hope they keep it up. And we'll see you next game. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, bye. <laughs>